Okay, uh, we start from uh, chapter one, uh, fundamentals. And this chapter is organized uh, into this way. Uh, we start from the requirement, uh, which is the objective for computer networking. So we want to see uh, what the requirements are, uh, what kind of things we should we want to achieve. And then after given the requirement or the objective, we see uh, what kind of a uh, principle, uh, underlying principle we have. And these principles are, can be considered as the constraints, the constraint uh, for us to reach, uh, to satisfy the requirements. Okay. And these uh, principles are mostly uh, governed by the, uh, the nature, uh, about the bandwidth, about the propagation, about the transmission. So, so we'll see uh, these principles or these constraints. And then under this constraint, in order to reach the, to satisfy the requirement, we need to come up with a solution. And the solution is the internet architecture. And it's not the option. So in the meantime, when we see uh, this uh, particular solution, which is the internet architecture, we will also see the other solutions that also satisfy the requirement and also the satisfy the constraint, the, princi the principles. So, so you internet, so keep, keep in mind that uh, internet or the TCP IP or the internet architecture is just one of the solutions. And it happened to be the dominant one. So it's important to compare this solution with the other solution to see uh, what the differences are. Uh, only when you know the differences, you would better appreciate uh, this solu particular solution. Why uh, this particular solution stand out better, or they stand out to uh, to prevail, uh, while the other solution fade away? Okay. <clears throat> and then, uh, so there, are, there, are, so there are key uh, some key reasons some key design philosophies uh, behind this uh, internet architecture. And uh, so we'll talk about uh, the, the, the idea of connectionless, stateless, and we'll talk about the end-to-end -end argument. And uh, we'll talk about um, how, the, how we can scale to uh, billions of nodes. And we'll talk about the idea of packet switching uh, stateless packet switching. Okay. <coughs> okay, and then uh, after introducing this particular solution and compare uh, this solution with other solutions, we talk about the implementation. So with, with, the solu with the architecture or the solution, we need to implement into the real systems. And the real system, there are many kind of implementation from the, say, the, the TCP IP protocol suite has been implemented in uh, many systems, say, uh, Windows, say, uh, uh, Unix or Linux, say, uh, some uh, proprietary operating systems, less open operating system. So there are uh, some embedded operating system like PSOS, Nucleus. Uh, VxWorks, these are uh, embedded operating system. And they also implement uh, the TCP IP uh, protocol architecture. So they also implement this solution. So the implementation could be, there'll be many solu implementations. However, uh, only the open source implementation, particular, the Linux-based implementation are open source. Uh, so, so then uh, we would need to take this one to explain how the solution are implemented into the real system. So that's the reason why we pay attention on uh, the open source implementation because uh, it's freely available. Uh, you can download on the internet, and and most importantly, it's live. By live. 
I mean, uh, it's updated continuously. It's not a piece of dead code that nobody maintain. It's a live code that has been maintained continuously by some people or a group of people. So, so uh, we'll talk about the uh, open source implementation. And, <coughs> and actually, there are a whole bunch of uh, open source resource uh, that we, if you look at Appendix A, there's a section on the open source community and their resources. So uh, I would say uh, that uh, there'll be uh, tens of thousands of packages open source packages available out there. And Linux is just one of them, uh, which is the, 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 the operating system. And even the hardware can be open source. So there's a, 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 a website called uh, opencores.org, opencores.org, uh, open and they have uh, a whole bunch of uh, hardware written in uh, very log or VHDL code. So it's in, in hardware uh, language. And so the hardware could be open source. Okay. And then uh, that would quite part, uh, we finished this chapter with a, a book roadmap. Uh, and I describe it as in a fashion of a package life. Uh, so a packet, uh, we we'll, we'll look at uh, uh, two particular uh, systems. One is a router. Within a router, how a packet might traverse in a router. And then within a server, how a packet might traverse. And then in, there's a, a sidebar uh, uh, on within the internet from the source to the destination across several routers how a package life may look like uh, in the internet. Okay, so <coughs> that's the organization of the first chapter. <coughs>